It's looking a little wet, not too bad though. Really? <laughs> Don't go in, Benny. <laughs> I haven't fallen yet. Nice to meet you. I like the stash. I like your stash. Thanks, man. man. Appreciate it. Love your videos. I've been watching them for a long time. <clears throat> There's better out there, you know. <laughs> I do all right for where we live, I think, without traveling too much. I just like being home. All right, let's start ripping. Damn Fritos. Damn Fritos. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've got a rare opportunity for a degenerate like myself. We are out and uh, fishing a private lake. Once. Buddy Ben, his, uh, his boss Tanner, invited me out here. I've always heard of this place, never got to fish it, but it's just always been known as a pretty good place to fish in Nebraska. So shout out to them for the permission. I'm excited to be here. There's a ton of fish up in that cove, but they're really smart. Hopefully as the sun starts going down, it never really went up because it's cloudy, but getting closer to dark, I, I think those fish should get fired up. But yeah, a little bit different intro today. I'm just gonna start fishing. Found a tree out here in a little bit deeper water. Uh, see if these fish are a little dumber. I don't know. There's there's fish everywhere up up in there, but I got rejected about three or four hundred times in ten minutes. So figured I'd do some looking while there's a little bit of daylight, if this counts as daylight. So yeah, got the underwater camera. If I get a wild hair up my ass, I'm gonna start recording on pan optics in a second and go from there. There's a little bit of open water out there. So kind of limited on the areas I can search, but chance of some real big crappies though. Damn it! Damn it! Forgot my reindeer hat. Oh well. And stuff. All right, connect to live scopey. Maybe. Where is it? Move because my phone updated. Try to get this recording here quick. Might even keep a few and do a catch and cook. <clears throat> Doesn't seem big, but it ain't terrible. Good start. Good start. I'm not gonna keep a lot, but I am gonna keep some. Boo's been asking for fish, and I don't have any in the freezer. 10 inch minimum here, but that is clearly above 10 inches. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Somebody requested that I try to be a little more informative on my video, so I'm gonna just talk about a few things. We got a little white plastic doohickey. We got a little white jig. And we got a little rod. Very informative, eh? No, I'm just kidding. These are Marvin rods. Everyone asks what rods I've been using. This one's a whippet, the other one's a snare. And yeah, I use the other one for spoons. I use this one for tungstens. I really try to keep it simple. I think sometimes people get a little too fancy as I stare at my damn live scope, but. Aha, we're doing it. We are doing it. The fish are being kind of picky, but we're recording on live scope so you can see what I'm looking at. We'll try to keep it going the whole time and stuff. Someone is also asking what I'm looking for on live scope. I usually just uh, kind of leave it out to get straight to catching fish, but all of that stuff over there looks pretty good. We got about 70 feet out towards the uh, mouth of this bay, and there is a lot of lot of a lot of French wigglers. So let's go see if we can convince them to be French nibblers and stuff. That'll do. That'll do, wasn't very stealthy, but that will in fact do. See if we can get some of these to nibble. Ah, 
some bigger ones out on the edge. It's a good thing about live scope is because you can kind of tell the difference between size of fish. There's a lot of shad down there. I'm not sure if there's a tree down there because there's so many other things to look at, but I'd imagine there's shad down there relating to a tree if I had to guess. Finally got one to do it. Sorry, my arm was kind of in the way there. Switch to a little bit different plastic. Oop. Oh, deep in. He almost got away. I got a uh, dropkick jig to the finger, too. That's all right. You want to know the good thing about hurting a finger? Is he got more of them. You wrecking them over there, Benny? But as the sun that doesn't exist starts to go down, you think it'd get a little better? Yeah, you'd hope so. If you lucked out, you don't have to show them your liking. I am? <laughs> yeah, he came out. Oh, really? Yeah. Is he over there? No, he left. Oh, did he? He, was like, he looks over, he's like, I'm not walking out there. <laughs> really? <laughs> did you tell him that I have a license? <laughs> I said, that guy doesn't have one out there. You're not, did you really? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know this guy. <laughs> Make sure you go check his ass. Look at him, shifty bastard. Yeah, that's a lot down there. Yeah, there's a shitload. They're just so smart. Got him. Got him. Fat, fat, fat. You can see all the shad on the bottom, so I'd imagine that's why they're fat. It's not exactly spawning season, but they're down there eating Chadleys. They're gonna get some girth. Another problem with Chad Lakes is, um, yeah, generally speaking, the fish are harder to catch. They're a lot fatter, but that means they're also a lot fuller, which means they're also a lot more tight lip there's gonna be a period throughout today though that they're brain dead is what the hope is but yeah that's basically the rundown as of right now fish everywhere hard to kind of choose where to fish but we're gonna sit here for just a wee bit longer and maybe go look out at the point gotta at least look at the point one more crap and we're gonna go look at the point and stuff Crappy. Decent crappy. Not a big crappy, but a decent crappy. Ten and a half eleven. Ten and a half eleven. Kind of wish I had my cooking stuff out here, but as you can see, it's kind of later in the day, so. Doing a catch and cook on ice would be a waste of valuable fishing time, in my opinion. We can maybe cook at home. I suppose it depends how many fish we catch. It all depends. Another one. Alright, we better go check the point before we chicken out. Meaty, though. Meaty. Before we check the point, though, I got I got a little little special surprise. Let's see how uh, see how close to right I was about the tiny chads. Maybe a tree, crappies on top, bigger chads occasionally. All right, stop on pan optics. I'm not gonna be able to see the screen super well because I'm not in a shack, but it is cloudy, so that should help a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna fish with the underwater camera down there, but at least let's at least take a take a little look see at what we got going on down there. I need to get one of those tripod things before I fish with an underwater camera again. Pretty thick tree. Oh my god, they're just all crappies. Oh, I should probably hit record. I think they're just crappies chilling in the tree. That's like a drum. What is that? That looks like a drum fish. Couple drum fish. Hi, drum bud. I missed you. I haven't seen you guys for a while. I didn't know there was drum buds in here. 
it's not that exciting. We also need to be careful to not get our camera stuck in there. What was that, a buffalo? There's some big stuff mixed in there. We're a little too right on top of it to really see the full potential of what's down there, but that was still pretty cool. I'm going to bring this underwater camera on every trip that I go on. If I find any sort of mildly clear water, I'll at the very least drop it in and say hi. There's definitely some crappies in that branch, in those branches, and zero shad, so I was dead wrong. Live scope tells you a lot, but... And you can get as good at live scope as you think you can. Or you can think you're the best at reading live scope ever. You never fully know until you drop an underwater camera in. Alright, we can always come back to this spot, but... I'm gonna go do some exploring real quick. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna come back to the cove. Get some more craps. Maybe a drum bud. That would be epic. And stuff. Alrighty. I did some exploring out in the uh, wilderness out there and it didn't go so hot. So I'm back fishing for crappies. 3.30. Little Benny joined me out here. He's been hammering them. All two of them. All two of them. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to fish this brush pile. We might go up in the cove, but I'm fishing a little bit different brush pile than before. Kind of off off the edge of it. See if we can pile up a couple more for old Buberto. Well, here's one. A decent one, I think. A decent crap. I thought it was big for a second, but my line was just caught in the ice. Oh yeah. Fatty Patty. Just dropped it right in his mouth. He just went, he ate it. it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was, it's a little fatter. Careful, Benny. They're sharp blades on there. They're brand new. you make it I guess I should probably stop throwing them in my sled for now I think I'm staying here for a little bit I did my exploring for the day Benny yeah. not a bad start though boys and girls I don't keep fish very often but I also need to bleed those things out but if I do I like it to be crappie in cold water and walleyes too we just don't have very many of those that's less obtainable less obtainable I expect you got some fish in there Benny right here? yeah <laughs> and they seem to be a little bitier right over in this corner because I've been struggling just like you oh blackie I'm not sure if he's quite 10, so we're gonna let him go. Black crap. The fish smelled you coming, Ben. There's less under me now. They're like, oh no. We're in trouble. I got all confident and then they stopped biting. No, it wasn't you, Benny. It was my big mouth. Yeah, you're right. Ah <laughs> These fish, there's not a single one of them around us. They aren't biting. Meat. Crappy, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska, Benjamin. I missed him.
Not sure if he's bigger or just matter. <clears throat> All right, Ben, what you got tied on? Same. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little, little minner guy and a little, little jiggy guy, and I've been kind of like dropping it below him and then reeling up past him and see if I can get one to chase it up and then slowly take it away from him. None of them are really hammering it. Drop past them all, Benny. Past couple were on the bottom being dicks. I'm gonna have to start counting pretty soon. It wasn't like windy like this when we got here, was it? it windy. What happened? Shit up. Yes, it did. At least we're kind of protected, but still. There's a lot of them out here, man. Yeah, if you drill a hole like five ten feet that way in between me and Ben there's there's a lot of them they're not eating my bait so you should catch some <clears throat> they are still pretty smart <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> as he reels another one in this one I, I think I snagged it it didn't eat Do you have like a little minnow plastic on there? Do you have a little minnow plastic on there? Uh, this one's got that little white thing. Yeah. I think it's more about finding the right fish, man. There's some that just come up and eat it, and there's some that don't want anything to do with you. Them up. I'm trying to catch up. I don't know if I'll catch up though, but. Yeah, yep, have at it. Even with the sharp blades, it's not working as well as it once was, but it's working better than it was yesterday. Uh, more kind of that way. Yeah, that's probably far enough, honestly. Thanks, yep, you pushed that one to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be over there anymore, but I will eat this on the way. Lost him. That was a bigger black crappie, too. It's pretty bright, but it's better. All right, boys and girls, I want to apologize to you guys. A lot of you guys have been watching my videos for, for a very long time, and you probably actually don't even expect an apology or think you deserve an apology, but I want to apologize anyway because... I haven't posted a video for a whole week. It's the first time in a long time, maybe since the baby was born. And um, yeah, I also haven't went fishing in nine days. I haven't started twitching either. Ice fishing can kind of wear you out, but yeah, I didn't I didn't record an outro. Um, I also don't feel like recording a catch and cook at home, but I guess I can show you my nice, cool garage. And by show it to you, I mean it's in the background. It's pretty neat. Turned out pretty good. But boy, oh boy, with this uh, pandemic thing going on, it, Sure, it costed a little bit more money than I expected it to, but yeah, fun day out with the fellas, Tanner, Ben. Dang it, I forget the mustache guy's name. We bonded about mustaches, and I for completely forgot his name. I actually didn't even ask his name, so yeah, what can you do? But yeah, limited out on crappies. I think we had 47. We had three limits, and we had poor Benny, who only had two. I mean, sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't work out, but had a good time. Shout out to those guys for inviting me out, and yeah. I'm not sure when I'm gonna go fishing next. I do have a couple videos recorded, so expect one sooner than a week. I just couldn't get in the zone on editing, I don't know. Like I said, you guys probably didn't expect an apology, but I figured I'd give you one. Anyway, but if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Really wanna to try to figure out how to catch some walleyes. Gonna be doing pike soon. Wanna do a catch and cook on the ice, not at my house soon. And yeah, I don't know. If you guys wanna see anything else, I suppose let me know. We got, uh, we got ice for a little while longer, but open water. Anyway, see you later. Stuff and thanks. Take care of yourself.
build. That was a win.